Why did God forsake Jesus? How could a good, holy and loving God abandon, forsake, desert such a wonderful, holy, pure person such as Jesus? Indeed, the only truly holy man who ever walked on this earth, who kept his Father's commandments perfectly to the last degree. How could? There are many folk who think that's outrageous. God would never allow his servant to be, suffer such a cruel and terrible death as crucifixion. But he did. How do we know? Because Jesus said it. There on the cross, he cried out in great agony, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? So we need to ask the question, why did God forsake Jesus? The prophet Isaiah gives us a clue, more than a clue. He explains it quite clearly, actually, in the 53rd chapter of the prophecy of Isaiah, where, among many other things, he says, For it pleased the Lord to crush him, putting him to grief. If he would render himself as a guilt offering, he will see his offspring. He will prolong his days, and the good pleasure of the Lord will prosper in his hand. God forsook Jesus so that we do not have to be forsaken, abandoned, or deserted. God allowed his beloved son to be handed over into the hands of wicked men who cruelly tortured him, blasphemed his name, mocked him, and nailed him to that cross so that we might be forgiven. God made him who knew no sin to be sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God in him. That is why God forsook Jesus, so that we do not have to be forsaken, so that in Jesus we have the righteousness of God. And we will never have to face what Jesus faced, being God forsaken, abandoned, and deserted, but rather accepted in Christ through in the Beloved.